What up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. Today, as you guys can see, we have a gameplay with the Buccaneers. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I lost the first game uh, with the Bucks. I was undefeated until I got the Bucks. Unfortunately, though, the Ogato went ahead and uh, messed up. If you've been watching me for years, you know that every once in a while there's a video where it just gets like mangled and messed up. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, that happened to that video. I was the Bucks. I played against somebody who was the Bears and. I lost. I mean, it was, I got agged. I, it was very. It was a very unlucky game for me. But nonetheless, I ended up losing. Get through the editing and just like oh, snap the dang Algado done messed up and and um, legit true story. I'm not just you know saying I could have just not said anything. You wouldn't have known I lost. <laughs> but no, the first game we played with the Bucks, we ended up losing. But unfortunately, the Elgato uh, ruined the footage. So this is my second attempt with the Buccaneers, and I learned some things. So off the first game where it's like Barrett isn't always on the DN spot for whatever reason. Um, he's at like, I want him on the line. He has edge threat. And for most of the game, the first game, he wasn't on the line. He was just elsewhere. Like he's in positions where he doesn't need to be. And now this time I obviously learned that, you know, I got to make sure he's on the D line every single time because, you know, I want to be able to, once again, take advantage of his edge threat ability. Uh, very first possession doesn't go well for me. As you can see, he goes over the top. It looks like he hit me with a level sail. I think the running back was on a flat route. I think it was you know a bunch of ends on the left with a corner route on the far right from the tight end, Ingram, and he just took off. So um, not a very good start. But offensively, though, even though, uh, speaking of <laughs> terrible throw by me, absolutely terrible. Okay, listen, do I lose twice with the Bucks? I might have just lost twice with the Bucks. Uh, but at least win, lose, or draw. This footage was good. Um, what happened on that was he was on the D-line. And uh, I would like to think he got stuck because he was using somewhere in the middle the whole game. So, I mean, I didn't know that then. But I just seen him on the D-line. I kind of see him like insta-shed. And he was on someone like super slow. And it was unfortunate because I, um, I went ahead and I just panicked. You know, I didn't realize... Yeah, he was on someone like really slow, but right here, like, get him, get him, he good, go, ah, oh, as we get, ladies and gentlemen, our very first kick return of the year, and it felt great, because that right there definitely put a very, very calming sensation over me, because I am a very, uh, when it comes to Madden, you know, depending on, look at that edge threat. That's what I'm talking about on the right side. The first game, he's just he was just never on the line. And I didn't realize until a lot later. Um, but, you know, depending on how the game goes, you know, it dictates how I play. You know, and things don't go my way. And now right there was a dot. Um, you know, I get flustered. I get upset. You know, if I drop an interception or things just aren't going my way. As we get a no soup for you. Give me the baby. Big interception right there. And uh, but when things are going my way, I'm calm, cool, collected. I feel like my decision making is a lot better, you know. So uh, down 10-0 wasn't a good start, and I could already sense the the panic mode coming in. It's like, all right, we have to do something this drive, and thankfully we get the kickoff return. So as you guys seen, you know, a few seconds ago, though we do get the interception already in field goal range, but of course we want to be able to score that touchdown, take the lead. And, you know, go up 14 to uh, fourteen to 10. So, uh, Brady, why was wide open right there. Why, all I got to do is precision that to the left and it's a touchdown. That is the read I missed. <laughs> right here, we're going to roll out with Tom. We're going to re-precision him up and then throw a hot one. I mean, Tom Brady can do it all, ladies and gentlemen. Was that Tom? That might have been Russell Wilson. Who knows? That was a beautiful throw. Tom Brady with an absolute... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful throw right there on the run to go on ahead and give us the lead. So we do get ball at the half. So this right here is a very, very, very important drive. As he hits me with mesh post, that's my play, man. Hey, you don't hit me with the mesh post, curl it over the middle. And this time I tried to bait it, come back to it, and I was very close to my first user pick this man. I've yet to get one. I've yet to get a user pick this man. And speaking, you shall receive. Don't test. 
the user is so disrespectful. Somebody please give that gentleman a link to my channel and let him know do not throw the ball my way. As not only do we go up 21 to 10, we get our first user Snaggington of the year. And shout out to my opponent for using a team that I've yet to see, the Giants. A lot of teams are using the Falcons and Bears. I faced the Falcons a ton and the Bears already. I feel like the only teams I haven't, right? I faced the Bears, the Falcons, and this might be the only team I faced that wasn't the Bears or Falcons. I, I can't think of, I don't know. No, I faced the Cardinals once, but um, I'm facing a lot of Bears, a lot of Cardinals. I mean, a lot of Cardinals. I faced the Cardinals. A lot of Bears, a lot of, uh, especially the Falcons. And the Falcons is... You know, I faced the Bears twice. I feel like I should have been right there for that pick. And the Falcons, I faced, what, like three times the Bears twice. And the um, uh, the Giants once here and the Cardinals once. And uh, if you're keeping track at home, there's an extra game. Because, again, I played the Bucks game earlier, but we ended up losing, unfortunately. I was heated. I was heated. But you can't win them all. I know I'm not going to go... 32 and 0 or however NFL teams are. I don't know. I think there's 32. I don't know. But I'm not going to win every single game. You know, especially using the team specific playbook. Like, I don't like teams that don't have a three point stance. I don't like 146s. I don't like when they have nickel 245. I prefer nickel normal. I prefer these formations where, you know, you have a three point stance. I don't like them standing up. That's just me. The Bucks have. Nothing but formations like that. Like, that's not a defense I prefer. You know, I, I don't like these formations, you know, that they have. Offensively, you know, I thought their playbook was going to be, you know, uh, goaded. You know, right here, fourth down swagger tree. You guys know how it goes, man. Fourth and one, we're going to go on ahead and we're going to punt the ball. The only way I won't punt or uh, kick a field goal, the only way I'll go for it is if they suggest it for me. If it's fourth and two and I get to the play call screen and they already have up there, you know, for me to go for it, then, you know, I'll use my judgment whether I want to go for it or not, you know, depend. But that is the only time I will go for it is if Madden suggested. Other than that, we punt the ball on fourth and one and the fourth down swagger tree did not work out for us there as he had a phenomenal drive. So we have a little bit of time remaining and I felt like I could have been gone right there. It's like I couldn't stare up and there was nothing but green ahead of me. And unfortunately, I just couldn't get going. But right here, we reroute him up. And that was such a phenomenal play by him. He clicked on to the defender to follow my reroute above him. That was such an amazing play. I was shooketh. You don't see that high level like Madden often where somebody wows you. I've been playing this game all my life, you know, and... I got into, honestly, since I could remember, since like Madden 89, and I was only like two, three years old then, and I kid you not, I remember like my uh, older brother who uh, has been playing Madden, and of course, my older brother's always been like a hero to me, so I've always wanted to just be like my older brother, and he was just playing Madden, so I had to, you know, as a kid, I remember putting the Mario down, the Sonic, the Hedgehogs, and all that, and I just wanted to play Madden, because my brother was playing Madden, so that's, you know, how... I got into. So I've been playing Madden all my life, and there's not too many times recently within the past ten years, and so that's when I really got good at Madden, where I'm like, I'm wowed. You know, that was a great play by him. Like he clicked on and chased the wide open receiver. If he doesn't do that, I have a wide open receiver screaming across the sidelines. Like he was wide open on that. Like that's incredible. And then he clicked on and covered it. I was, I was shooketh. I cannot tell. I but look at Thomas Patrick Edward Brady, the 19th, throwing another fadeaway dot. 31 to 20, we have ourselves a nice 11 point lead here. And as you guys can see, it doesn't take a math scientist to know that the video is about to end. And there's probably a whole fourth quarter left. So you can, you can take a guess what's about to happen. So we end up going one for one on the day with the Bucks, And it just so happens that the good footage was of me winning, you know, not the loss that I took where, you know, we end up losing. And, uh, but yeah, we end up winning with the Bucks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video for all of you who are Bucks fans. We got it right the second time. The first time you couldn't even see because it, it was badly butchered, but we lost pretty handedly. It was like, I think it was like 11 to like 25. I couldn't stop him. I, I couldn't stop him. Then I didn't realize till like the end of the game, Barrett, 
was just not on the line on all those plays. It's just me not really paying attention. But I made sure this game, though, I manually subbed him in where he needed to be. So, again, appreciate the love and support. If you guys made it this far in the video, represent that by hitting the like button, man. That way I know you are an OG and you support the videos, man. It really means a lot. And uh, next gameplay will be with the Cardinals. And I'm really looking forward to that, man. It's my second Escape Artist QB, seeing what it is I can do with the NFC West Cardinals. And I'm not a fan of no other team but the Niners. So I might lose on purpose. I just might. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go ahead and sign you up, man. Appreciate the love and support. As always, again, man, um, you know, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Until next time, peace.